hey everyone welcome back to our channel today i'm showing you how to create a professional uh, tracker in excel like this the one that has a percentage attendance that's going to change in as you as you tick in your check boxes stick around as i walk you through each step from setting up the layout to adding dynamic formulas and conditional formatting let's get started we will first begin by creating another a new sheet here we can rename it to attendance tracker since we are trying to we are trying to look uh, to actually create a professional attendance tracker so the first thing that we need to do is ensure that we import uh, some data you could type in manually or just uh, import it from somewhere else that you have and then let's uh, start with our day from Sunday to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Saturday. We can have this in green uh, once we have this we can actually add borders into it just like this and then since this is just a whole week we could have we, we could insert we can insert a text box you can actually use any other type of formatting but for this particular for this particular video I'm going to be inserting a text box text box so we'll be inserting a text box Let's add another row here to make it uh, more visible. Yes, once that's done, we can type in this is week one. And we can have yes so once that's done we can resize all this to just to make it more presentable and pleasing to our eyes So once we have that, it's easy since we'll just uh, select this. No, actually, we're just going to select the cells, copy, and duplicate it for three more times.
it's inside so another text box here for, mm. for now week week two mm. and we can now have this is as week two So that's it with uh, the layout of our attendance tracker. Now we'll move on to adding our attendance here and our percentage in attendance. This should have our totals here since this, since this is where we'll have put the percentages and just the normal number then let's select this and add borders just like the the other columns So once that's done, we are the, the next thing that we are going to do, we are just going to add check boxes on our on our week one to week four. Select it. Go to insert and click on check boxes, and you'll have your check boxes like this. You can you can check a few. Okay. Once once that's done, what the next thing that you are going to do, we'll try and 
calculate the attendance, we are going to use the count if formula, clicking your equal sign, go with count if, and then now select the range of your weeks, comma, and then if this is true, the, that we want the number that's going to be counted. And this gives you four. So what you need to do is just uh, drag to fill to every other to every other row, and this is what will happen. So if you keep checking in other boxes, this will ensure that you have everything calculated automatically. Then let's calculate the attendance, the percentage in attendance. This will. equal sign and then now you have to select the first cell of attendance and then divide it by count a count a and then now select the value the value will be the number of days in the weeks and then close your parentheses and hit enter you will have a decimal number but this time we'll just have to change it into percentages under the home tab and then over the number just click on the percentage and you'll have it as a percentage just like we did in the attendance click and drag to fill and there you go now what's left is to to do a little bit of formatting, select your, your check boxes, go to conditional formatting, highlight cells and click on equal to. Say when it's true, you want to fill this with green, green fill with dark green text, click on OK. Move on to conditional formatting once again, equal to when now it's false. Yes, fill it with the red, fill light red, uh, yes, and click on OK. So when you keep, this is what is going to happen. Once that's done, come here, select your percentage in attendance go to conditional formatting go to data bars and click on more rules click here on the maximum ensure that it's a number and make sure it's one number move on to solid fill gradient fill choose choose your color to be you can choose whatever color you wish for this particular video will go with color green and then click on ok ok so you can see your attendance is in percentages as you as you click on it so this is how you you create an attendance a professional attendance uh, tracker you only need two formulas that's the count a and count if to just uh, work on your attendance and the percentage in attendance and that's it so if you like this video please uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next video bye